this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Goldfarb and Alexander Alehin. This game was played in St. Petersburg, Russia, in 1909. 1909. Anything important happened to you that year? No? Okay, let's have a look at the game. Goldfarb had white pieces and he started with e4. Alehin played e6, d4, d5. French defense. E takes on d5, exchange of variation. E takes on d5. Bishop to d3, knight to c6, attacking the pawn on d4. Defending. Bishop to d6, bishop to e3, knight to f6, knight to f3. Natural developing move. However, some players prefer h3, preventing knight to g4, attacking the bishop. Goldfarb played knight to f3, but now knight to g4. Knight from b to d2, knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, queen to e7, attacking newly created target. Defending black to move. What would you do? I guess a castling comes to mind, but there is a better move. Alehim played f5, preventing e4. Excellent move. Goldfarb castled kingside. Black to move. I guess castling comes to mind again, do you agree? Or maybe developing the bishop? Alehi played knight to d8. Why? This is very interesting move. The knight is destined to go to g5. First to f7 then to g5. But this is not the only reason. Lehin was expecting white to play c4 and then c5 attacking the bishop. Okay, let's have a look. If black castles kingside, then c4 and next would be c5. So black would have to capture the pawn and then knight takes on c4 attacking the bishop. So knight to d8 is also preserving the bishop on d6. c4, c6, and now there was no c5. Knight to b3, Alehin castled kingside 2. Rook from a to e1. White has a good development, huh? But has a weakness. The pawn on e3 is permanently weak. Knight to f7. Queen to c2, knight to g5, knight takes knight, queen takes knight. White to move. Goldfarb was struggling to find a good move. Perhaps c takes on d5 would be not a bad move, maybe knight to d2. Goldfarb played rook to f3. This move is real bad. Why? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Alehin captured the pawn on h2 with bishop. Check. King to f2. If king takes bishop then queen to h4 check, and after rook to h3, queen takes rook. So we have king to f2, h5, rook to h1, attacking the bishop, bishop to d6, rook from f to h3. g6 comes to mind, do you agree? What else? Alehin played h4. And Goldfarb played rook to f3. 
If rook takes on h4, then bishop to g3 check, winning the rook. So we have rook to f3, bishop to g3 check, king to e2, black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? The best move is f4. Opening files will endanger white king even more. Pawn takes pawn, attacking the queen. Bishop takes pawn, g3. How would you continue now? There is more than one way to win. I guess bishop to g4 comes to mind. Alehin played rook to e8 check. King to f1. Bishop takes on g3. Bishop to h7 check. Very scary. Just kidding. King to h8. You know, this is funny. White played the move and resigned immediately. Why? There is a forced checkmate here. Can you see forced checkmate? First move, rook to e1 check, king to g2, h3 check, rook takes pawn, bishop takes rook check, king takes bishop, queen to h4 check, king to g2, and there is checkmate in one, queen to h2, check, mate. What do you think of this game? And I hope that people who play French defense would be pleased with this game. Hmm? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.